Now at five, the Senate and House have chosen who will represent each side of that teacher's raise debate. 12 News Tal Ta is live with where the teacher pay raise bill stands today. Tal? Well, that's right, Melanie. The Senate, as of today, have chosen their conferees, as you just mentioned. Now, when when they um, essentially when the bill goes to conference, three members from the Senate and three members from the House are chosen, and uh, I'm told the meeting should happen later this week. Now, as you remember, the Senate passed House Bill 530 last week, adding language from the Senate Bill SB 2444 that includes a raise for teachers' assistance. Now, last week the House voted to go on conference. That was because they didn't agree on the plan that would give teachers an average wage a raise of $4,800 over two two years, according to the lieutenant governor's office. Now, the point of contention I to I'm told from House members is that they feel the money is there now and that it can be done in a year. We made our position clear that we feel like the money is there now. Our budget is in good shape. Um, teachers have been deserving this type of investment for decades. And the fact that we can do it now, we needed to take the opportunity to do it all right now. I'm hopeful that we can all set aside politics and, and other issues and, and take care of the people we're really to take care of. And when a final agreement is made, the bill will go on the calendar where lawmakers can then agree to it or make further changes. Now, both, changes, both chambers are hopeful that teacher pay raises will get passed in some form and stand alone from the tax cut debates that have become a leadership priority. Live at the Capitol, Tal Tal News.